Right, hello guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to start with a quick little intro clip, and I'm actually going to go over the full class here, because my full class up has kind of changed, and uh, obviously, today's video is going to be about the org, and this thing is insane, and ignore the part where it says submachine gun here, because this ain't a submachine gun, you're going to see why. So, first of all, as you can see, we're in the long barrel, the ultra attack, ultra light hollow, sorry, the stipple grip tape, the 30, well, the NATO rounds, the 5.56 mags, and the tactical foregrip, and all this together, paired together, makes this a pretty good assault rifle with a lot of damage, okay? So, take notes of this, use this class up, obviously check out the gameplay because it was a 56 and 11, and you're going to see this gun is a pretty good assault rifle and is very underrated, so check out the gameplay, try this class up, and you're going to absolutely love it. But on top of that, I am using this Deagle, this doesn't really matter, you can use whatever secondary you want. Perks are EOD, Ghost, and Tune Up. Now the reason for that, EOD to try and stop getting killed by explosives, not that it actually helps most of the time, but I don't know what else you can use really. Ghost, everyone uses Ghost, there's no reason not to. And Tune Up, because obviously I'm not using Scavenger, I use ammunition boxes so I can get more ammo back in the gun and just run and gun a bit more. And not only that, this is one thing that's changed, and this is absolutely key to the class as well. Make sure you are using C4s, because read this, okay? It says it's a large explosive that sticks to surfaces and can be detonated remotely with RB when the equipment is depleted. Now I assumed this was like C4 from older games, well from say Black Ops 3 and that, where you had to stick it to a wall. It does not. This detonates mid-air, so use these. These are so overpowered, honestly. If the person's not running EOD, they are done for, so make sure you're using C4s. They are way better than Claymores, and they help to stop people who are actually camping in rooms with Claymores. So again, use the C4. And try and use Stim. Obviously, if you're someone who plays like Search and Destroy and that, use something else. Because Stim isn't that useful in Search, I'd say. But for for ground like ground war or TDM or anything that, make sure you're using Stim. But this is the class up. Again, show you this real quick at the end. But yeah, make sure you're using this class up. This org is absolutely insane. You're going to see in the gameplay 56 and 11. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And let's get right into today's gameplay. Right, hello guys. And welcome to today's modern warfare video and yes today's video is actually going to be a custom class set video and uh just want to say before the video starts uh apologies for not uploading as recently as i should have been uh i've been quite busy recently so this video will probably come out like five six days since my last upload and obviously i like to keep my uploads around two to three days between each one so apologies for that but here we are and first thing is you're going to notice from this video is obviously we're using the org so today's video is about the org and i've done an intro clip for you guys showing you the class out because you're going to see in this gameplay it's, it's an absolute beast and is incredibly underrated and not only that as you can see we're playing on the map Anya Palace it's finally become a ground war map and first impressions it's a fantastic ground war map it's a really good ground war map I know we're giving some praise here on the channel but this is a good ground war map and it's annoying that it should it should have been here in the first place and you're also going to notice from this gameplay I'm using C4s so I'm going to talk about a few things in this gameplay, because there's been a lot that's happened since the last, what, six, five days since our last uploaded. So obviously we're playing on Anya Palace. I think this is a good map. Fantastic map, really, for Ground War. Uh, this was a terrible 10v10, 6v6 map. I don't know what, you know, rotation this was used in for public matches, because again, I only play Ground War. And this is a good map, so I'm glad they did this. It's It's got a good flow to it. Every flag is in a nice, decent spot. The sea flag is in a pretty good area to contest. I like the whole flow of the map, it's really nice. And uh, yeah, so let's continue, let's, let's start discussing a few things. Which is, first of all, we'll talk about the gun in the game, which is the Orc. And this gun is not really an SMG, okay? With the setup I've got on it, this is an assault rifle that packs a punch. And you're gonna see in this gameplay, we, we go, I believe, 56 and 11. Not my most insane gameplay with it, but I'm sure I'm gonna get some absolutely insane ones with it. Like I can see a 90 kill, 80 kill gameplay coming with this, which by the way, spoiler alert, there will be a gameplay of that type coming soon, okay? We've been getting some insane gameplays, even though I haven't been uploading, okay? But also you'll notice, uh, well, I don't know if you can notice, is you see a green player marker on the map. So I was actually playing with my bro in this gameplay. And something I noticed, and this is something I wanna kinda of talk about, it's kinda of to do with skill-based matchmaking that a little bit. These lobbies when I played with him were a little bit easier, which is kind of interesting to me because I didn't think Ground War had skill-based matchmaking, so I, I'm convinced there might be a little bit of skill-based matchmaking in Ground War. I don't know if I just got lucky and maybe it was the time of day I was playing or if we just happened to stumble in a few good lobbies, but people were just a little bit worse. Like, go back to my other gameplays, guys, and just check them out for yourself. You'll see, like, when I play my other Ground War matches, people are using the M4 constantly, drop shotting, jump shotting, you know, the typical, like, people trying their hardest. In this gameplay, there are a lot of people using 
off-meta weapons, and that needs to be fixed, by the way. I've noticed that the minimap is still broke, that, like, when trying to call in killstreaks. You can't call in your killstreaks properly, so it's kind of annoying. And, uh, another thing on this class, make sure you're using C4s. I don't know why, I wasn't using them. And that was because I read the description of them, and it said that they had to be stuck to the wall, so I assume this is, like, you had to stick them to the wall and detonate them. And they don't. For some reason, they're like the Black Ops 2 C4s, where you can detonate them mid-air. So make sure you're using those C4s, because they are way better than Claymores. They're the more lethal, you can deal with the people camping in windows and stuff. You'll probably see that a few times in this gameplay, where I just I just get a C4 and just lob it for a window. As you can see, I'm getting ready to lob my C4 and just keep throwing them. Thing oh, i got a kill there on my kill straight before I destroy a Claymore or something. But they're good for getting past people's Claymores and stuff. You'll also notice in my... Uh, little intro clip before the gameplay started. I've also changed my perks around because I've noticed that there's, there's a lot of like necessity perks that you need now, like like EOD, which works here or there. Sometimes you still get blown up by claymores. I don't know how that works, but it, it just does. Uh, I've been using EOD, so we're no longer using Scavenger, and I use Tune Up instead, so this Battle Hardened is useless. They need to fix Battle Hardened. It's completely messed up. But yeah, so I'm using Battle uh, not Battle Hardened, uh, Tune Up, so I can get my ammunitions box, quick, box quicker, and because it's ground war, if I, even if I don't get that, I can just go find a little ammunitions thing, and we take out this guy in the tank, because we don't like people using the tanks. And uh, again, we're still waiting for an actual decent nerf to those, and we're still waiting to a decent update to this game. But uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the gameplay, which is uh, the actual game, the gun, you know, the org. So in the intro clip, you've probably seen that I mentioned my class setup, and I just want to talk about a few things that I think are key to the class. So to start off with, the NATO rounds, the 5.56 rounds, which basically turn this to an, into an assault rifle. This is the AUG assault rifle. So, the reason I use those is just the damage they put out. It's it's just a lot better, and this gun as an SMG just doesn't compete with like the best SMGs. Like, if you wanted to run this as an SMG with, the, you know, the, the ammo type, like, what can you run? You can run the 32 round mags, because I believe this has like 20, 25 rounds in it, and so you'd have to run the 32 round mags and stuff. And it has a fire, a decent-ish fire rate, not really. It, it just doesn't compete with the MP7 and MP5. You've got to run this thing like an assault rifle. So that's why I'm using the 5.56 round. They just pack a punch. They have way more damage to it. Better range. Just just a lot you can do with that. And on top of that, we increase the damage more. Now, this is one thing, guys. I'm going to warn you now. You need to level up this gun a lot. If you haven't been leveling this gun up, you're going to have a few issues, okay? Because, one, this gun is not fun to level up. Because with people using the M4 and the Kilo, and also that Ram 7 or whatever it's called, I need to get that gun. I'm getting close to it, guys, so expect a gameplay and a class setup with that as soon as I possibly can with it. Because that gun is a monster. That gun is absolutely insane at range. But yeah. So one thing I did was increase the damage even more. And to do that, you need the long barrel, which is the 622mm long barrel. And this increases the damage range, the bullet velocity, and the recoil control. It's just better than the lightweight and the extended barrel. So it's just better damage all round. And it also helps with the recoil control. So something that you need on this, because the recoil is a bit... It's a bit iffy, I don't know, it feels a little bit weird sometimes, but with this, these attachments, I've finally got the recoil to settle how I want it to settle, whether or not it that appeals to you guys the way I've got the recoil settled. But to do that, I've used the tactical foregrip, which is quite interesting, because I don't think this is one of the best grips in the game, I think like the commando foregrip is better, the ranger probably, the operator, but on this gun, I feel like the stability of the weapon needs to be a lot better, and the only one that does that as much as, you know, the best is the tactical foregrip, so we use that, it increases, it makes the aiming stability better, and the movement speed does go down, but that's not a problem, because we are using the FTAC Ultralight Hollow. That makes the movement speed, well, the aim walking movement speed, a lot higher, which just helps with your strafe speed in that, so make sure you're using that. Again, use my class up exactly how it is, because I, I've tried using the org with many different attachments. I've tried using red dots on it, I've tried using different barrels, different grips, and this was the best I could come up with. But it is an absolute machine. Like this, this class setup was 100% better than the other class setups I used. So just try it out. Again, you're going to see. We got, abs we got just absolutely insane gameplay. And not only that, we're competing here against people with M4s and stuff, you know. This gun does pack a punch. Obviously, you're not going to gun an M4 player all the time. You've do, you do got to get a little bit of a jump on them. But this gun is insane. I'm also using the Deagle. Whether or not that's actually useful, because obviously pistols are kind of useless in this game. And uh, last thing up to run the class up is the stipple grip tape. Obviously, aim down sight speed, sprint, spin, yeah, sprint to fire speed, all important things here in Modern Warfare. And plus, if I don't, if you don't use this, like you're going to be kind of slow aiming down sight, and it's kind of going to be annoying. And plus, you got to get the jump on these M4 players and the people using the kilo and whatnot. But yeah, give this gun a try, guys. It's very underrated, very underused. 
I rarely ever see someone in this gameplay, and you, to be honest, you probably won't even see it on the kill feed anyone else using this. I genuinely think I might be the only person in this game using this gun. So yeah, that's the class setup. The gameplay's going on. Someone, what was that saying in the right there? Th there's fucking tanks here. <laughs> a guy getting upset about the tanks. Who the fuck eh? But yeah. So one thing I want to talk about is just things that aren't to do, well, kind of to do with the game, but kind of not. Obviously, I discussed earlier that I was playing with my bro in this game, and for some reason, these lobbies were easier. And I can't understand why. Yes, we know skill-based matchmakers in the game, but I didn't think there'd be any or very little skill-based matchmaking in Ground War. Now, my bro is like level 20 or below, so maybe that plays into it. Maybe he does it, and I don't think he has an extremely high KD just because he's got to level up the guns. So it's not easy when you get someone new to the game and you haven't got a fully leveled up M4 or leveled up Kilo when everyone else is running around with full leveled up gold, you know, Kilos, M4s, you name it. So, I don't know if that's playing a part into it. I might do a little a few tests with that because it's quite interesting. Again, gameplays have been a lot easier because of it. I've got a few gameplays because I play with my bro, and I wasn't on that wasn't intentional either. That was just to like play, have someone to, you know, help you out, like cap flags and stuff, because that's one big problem I have in, in uh, Ground War is people do not cap flags. They like sitting on buildings, they like sniping, they like camping in corners, and when I'm just sitting on my flags on the flags on my own, you know, there's always like multiple people challenging. You need that little bit of help, so. Having someone to help you out and cap the flags is quite useful. But yeah. And uh, a few more things I want to discuss recently. So, the... Uh, what else did I want to discuss? I'm trying to think now. Uh, so, one thing is I haven't uploaded recently. And I'll give you the explanation of that, which is... I have been quite busy. I have been working recently. So, I, couldn't, I can't tell you guys that I'm going to be uploading a lot over the next few days. Because, again, it's quite difficult at the moment. As, uh, I'm someone who works in retail, so... You can imagine how busy it is over the Christmas period, working in retail and having to do fulfill your hours and then come back and try and record a gameplay and do a comment for it and upload to you. There's a lot going on right now, so again, apologies for that. Apologies if I do not upload as much as I want to in the next coming days. Because again, I want to. For instance, I feel like the game's got a little bit better with uh, recent patches and updates. Even though all they did recently was add like Infected, I believe, uh, which they're going to take away as well in like seven days. So again, a bit annoying. Adding game modes, taking away game modes, kind of annoying. I did feel like the stability of Ground War actually finally improved though. Not that they said that they did, but actually feels like more clean, like more responsive, more... I don't know, when you go to, when you go and shoot at someone, it feels like your bullets are actually hitting more. That's that's how I'd put it. But yeah, I, want, I definitely want that gun. That Ram 7 is disgusting, by the way, so... Been trying to, like, get... I want to get a gameplay of it. Obviously, i got to level up and get it. But I've been picking it up off the ground from other players. And that thing just absolutely decimates people. I don't know what it is. It just destroys you. I think the range of it is just insane of it. Because, like, I think it's like the M4. But it's not as good up close. But at range, you are going to actually beat the M4. So, if you have got the Ram server, make sure you're trying to use that and level up. Because I'm gonna, when I get that going, I'm going to be leveling that thing up. Because it's going to take forever to get the attachments I want on it. But... It's 100% going to be worth it. That gun is absolutely insane. But yeah. I'll let this gameplay wrap up. Uh, here's the all gameplay though. Again, a 56 and 11 gameplay. Not this most insane gameplay, but this class up is insane. So if you want to, go back to the start of the video. Make sure you use this class up. Absolutely insane gameplay. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Subscribe and notifications on. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.